Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Ready and Love Critters. I got Love Critter over here, Charlie and Heidi, right? Charlie get all up in his feelings, and when Big Dog gets up in, all in his feelings, you know he'd be feeling. <laughs> because it'd be shaking your whole bed. <laughs> or you come home from someplace, you can hear him running the lengths of the, the mobile home. You almost can oh, see Lord, it. Oh, Lord, yes. But it sounds like a herd of cattle. It's just him. Probably Nixie, too. You know, little bit stays out of the way. But anyway, it is, um, wow, August 21st already. I know, it's hard 2021, to believe, it? Saturday <laughs> afternoon, <laughs> bless you, almost evening at 4.24 p.m. It's kind of a cloudy, overcast type of a day. Let's do the weather. Been the weather in forever. Mr. Heidi is going to be looking up the information on where we stopped at the hats. And in this coming week, he will be finding a uh, new state. I think we have not done North Carolina yet. No, I don't believe we have. So we're going to double check. But he has to go back. Like, right as when COVID was starting, with, with hitting... And I think, so you quit work in April, right? 2020, March. March. So that's probably the last month we did the hat. Because after that, I didn't. Hey, excuse me, dear sir. Hey, that is my, like, my lamp. I know we're all up in your feelings, Charlie. Don't look at me like that, man. Oh. I know, I love you, too. Anyway. All right, here we go, finally. Take me. Okay, it's 88 degrees, and it feels like 95. Let's see. Today is, um, I think it bring up more, the kind of a new, okay. Uh, wind is four miles per hour, humidity 61%, and it is, chance of rain is, only 15%. And um, let's see. I don't know what time, you know, it's going to sunset, sunrise. So we're just going to have to make it on it. Anyway, um, we took a ride into Wilson to look at the Whirligig Park. It sounded like it was this huge park. With all the different whirly gigs, right? It's not a very big park, and it's not, it's very big machine made type whirly gigs. I thought it was kind of little handmade type, a cornucopia of different. That was disappointing. I'm not a big fan of Wilson. Not saying there's anything wrong with it, I just don't care for the town. I don't know. I think Rocky Mountain's much better. But anyway. I got in a refreshment box. This is a free sample of stuff. I got in my Epsi bag. So I'll show you guys that. And then also my friend Kathy sent some new samples of soap that they have just come out with that I wanted to share with you guys because they smell divine. They smell good. They do. Um, so let me do the Epsi, Epsi bag first. Um, it came like this. this. is my very <coughs> first one. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. And it came with this medium angled shading brush right here, which will be nice. <coughs> Bless you again. There you go. And let's see. This is the Wanderlust Recharge, Reset, Go Off the Grid, Discover Rare New Ingredients, Go Wild with Manis. Manis. Try techniques to soothe your skin and your mind. Bless you. Your greatest adventure starts with you. So that's what's going on with that. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah. So, good. It, it shows what each one is. That was that. Not only is this an angled brush. <coughs> my goodness. You, you okay? Yeah. Uh, for blending and shading your eyeshadows. 
and it's display worthy too. I guess. What do you want me to do? Put it in a golden box? But anyway, so it's supposed to be display worthy. <laughs> and let's see. And then we got the La Balm Cosmetic. Oh, this is a a sparkling eyeshadow in in ro rose. So I haven't had a sparkling eyeshadow in a very long time. So I do like that tone, though. It's a very, very subtle. I don't know if you guys can even see it on my skin. It's very subtle, just a slight little shimmer. So that's nice. So, yeah, that's a nice, a nice color. That's the full size one. Um, and let's see what else we have in here. Take out the rest. We have um. This called milk makeup right here. Two in one cream stick, dusty rose shade can be used to give your cheek a pretty flush. Your lips a, a gorgeous tint. Plus, it's infused with moisturizing mango butter, peach nature extract, and uh, avocado oils to plump and smooth too. I need that tip. Swipe this stick. On your lips, cheeks, or both, then blend with fingertips or a sponge. So, there we go. Oh, I see. Little cap. I like to, it's really light. I don't like to wear dark makeup. And that's just, that's just me. It's kind of funny. As I've gotten older, I wear lighter and lighter makeup. I don't need to wear heavy makeup to accent the, the wrinkles. <laughs> you're either going to, when you get to be my age and older, you're either going to try all that stuff on and try to smooth out them, them puppies, you know, by filling in those wrinkles. Or else you're just going to try and do real light so it doesn't draw extra attention. And because, okay, let, let's face what your life is. You definitely know what your life is like at our age. And it's like my life is basically messing with the dogs and the cat, the shady cat, and doing crafts and artwork, hanging out with him or watching Criminal Minds. Season 13, 14, 15 is on Hulu. So, you know, those of you that are, you know, we're wondering too. It's on Hulu, so that's nice, um, you know, which we are already paying for. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, this is full-size milk makeup. It's nice and light, which I like. Let's see. This is a Mintan Rapid Recovery Moisturizing Makeup or Lotion. And this is just a sample. It's dry skin combination of... Hyaluronic, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides uh, in this lotion work together to plump, to protect, plump, and replenish your skin from the neck down. You know what I love though is it keeps saying how you want to plump up your skin. Anywhere else on your body, you're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to to minimize it, but on your face, you want to plump everything up. So I want to blow up everything on my face to try and balance out the rest of my body? I mean, what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> That's good. You know, but so anyways, I want to say tip. <laughs> oh, to use it on uh, damp skin after shower. Makes sense. Oh, it's got a seal on it, so I'm not going to mess with it right now. And then the last thing is this... Um, 24-7 waterproof eyeliner in olive. Um, always looking for an eyeliner to stand up to summer, humidity, sweat, and of course, pool day. This one definitely delivers. The gel-based formula is highly pigmented and waterproof, so 
you can flash the day away without fear of smudging. And it says use it to tight line along your upper lash line for a quick flick or smudge it to go smoke. So, oh, that is nice. I kind of wondered about the olive, but knowing about skin tones and stuff, uh, the green will balance itself out. Um, on your skin, depending on your skin pigmentation. I haven't had a perfect thin, thin skin pigmentation for this color because of I was a very dark redhead as a kid, and now I chemically enhance it. <laughs> I got the freckles to prove it, don't I, honey? Yes, you do. And I'm very white, very fair skinned. So this so this will be nice, but it's a nice Yeah, so that'll be nice. So I'm gonna mess with that. Um I decided I would watch and everybody else get their 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 different glamour bags and I didn't want to pay much. I think I pay ten dollars a month um for this, which which I thought was, was you know a fair price. And I thought, well, why not? You know, you only live once. Why don't you go ahead and, and you know, try one of these glamour bags? I mean, you know, everybody, no matter what stage of your life you're in, no matter what, what size you are, color you are, what you do for a living or, or, or your lifestyle, you want to feel pretty, you know? Girls, we just want to feel pretty, both of us, you know. So, yeah, I want to feel pretty. I want to be able to go with no makeup or very little makeup and still feel, you know, pretty. I don't want to feel, but I don't want to spend, I know some people spend a very long time putting on their makeup and it will be some serious layering. It will be like when I do a paint. And I'm not cutting anybody down. That's your that's your thing. That's your thing. But that ain't me. Yeah, okay. And then I got in. And I didn't subscribe to this or anything. It's called a refreshment box. I think it was part of. I thought I was going to start doing some surveys and stuff. Getting paid. And then realize, you know. You want me to do 50 minute survey and give me a quarter. But this is called refreshments. And. It says, why settle for basic when you can have refreshments? It's this box here. <clears throat> it comes with this bag here. And what it is is a shaving kit thing for women. And so it's this pillowy shave cream. And that's a full size. Uh, citrus spritz. I have not smelt it yet. We're going to right now see what it smells like. Mm, that does smell nice. I love the the smell of citruses. I'm especially if there's some grapefruit mixed in with the uh, uh, oranges and tangerines and limes and lemons. I really love that. You know, it's just a fresh, clean kind of a scent. And then it <clears throat> also came with this. <clears throat> shaving kit and it says join the party and then it says get ready to jazz things up here's the thing and you can come with these stickers which I'm not really sure why they think I would want to have stickers I'm not 12 so I don't need to put little bathtub stickers on my on any anything and or shower heads or little soaps or anything. I I don't get it. But you know <laughs> whatever. So it comes in this nice little decorative box like this. And I mean it's nice. Um here's the handle, couple blades. It's it's a five blades razor kit. And then I'm not sure what this is for. I'm not sure what this is for. I can't it's it just is. this this thing here. I'm not sure what it's for. 
You'll stick it on your wall. I'm not going to do that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I guess to go with your stickers. I'm not doing that either. You know? Sweetie, can I throw something in real quick? Yeah, what? I just want to back up a little bit. Um, when you were talking about the makeup, mm -hmm. you are one of the fortunate ladies that you look wonderful without makeup or with makeup. You know, because I've seen some ladies that would come into the store and they didn't have makeup on and I didn't know who they were. I had some that would come in the beauty shop when I was a cosmetologist and if they did not have their makeup on, I had a hard time recognizing them. You know, sometimes they would come in, no makeup on, maybe they had a special event, they'd want you to do their hair and makeup. So anyway, that 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 plastic thing that you mount to the wall is a magnetic wall mount. Oh. You're supposed to stick that ugly thing to your wall <laughs> and then you can put your razor. Like I want anytime anybody walks into my bathroom. Yep, there's her razor. <laughs> I wonder what's stuck in the blade. <laughs> what? I don't get it. What am I supposed to put all the stickers around the, the doohickey so I can, you know, my magnetically can put my. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not doing that. <laughs> but anyway, so that came. I mean, it's a nice kit. And I don't know. I have to be so careful because. I bleed so easily that, you know, last time I tried shaving my legs manually, I bled like crazy. It was like afterwards, the next day, it was like a road rash. I kid you not. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I called him into the bathroom because I couldn't get the bleeding to stop. And this was only like two swipes up my calf. And I don't, I'm not very hairy. I am not a very hairy person woman at all no and but i had hadn't shaved in probably a couple of years and i decided i just wanted to to shave some and i waited until i was good and healed up and a couple of swipes and then all of a sudden it was like a sprinkler head your shower head and there's blood and it's like holy moly and so i thought i could stop it and then it took a bit because i do take aspirin every day um, but yeah, and I, I, you know, there's some, some different things going on, um, medical challenges that I'm not going to talk about, but, um, there's some reason why some things are, are, you know, happen, but, uh, yeah, it was weird. Anyway, then my dear friend, Kathy, I love you so much, Kathy. You're just such an inspiration to me. I have such a such a wonderful woman always she's always sending me cards and she's always messaging me and she's so supportive and stuff and she has her own stuff going on anyway i know one of you guys asked about uh the name of the place with the the goat milk that they make make the soap and stuff and so i thought that was a perfect opportunity she just sent me three new samples of soap that they just came out with and they smell heavenly they do they smell so good yeah oh they smell so good thank you for the card too kathy i just really really appreciate it, it means so much um anyway for uh you were wanting to know what the name of the the uh place is it is called stone city farm and um they're in, in, in Washington State. You can also find them on Amazon. Type in that name to Stone City Farm. And they are a family-owned operation. They do everything there. They make soaps. They make lotions. I think they're doing um, essential oils now. I know they were doing goat yoga, which is really fun. They, t they have classes. To teach you how to make different stuff, um, which is a lot of fun. They're always booked up. They are pretty much a self-sustaining farm at this point in time for themselves, which is wonderful. 
Um, you know, everybody there has some part of the operation. My friend Kathy, she gets all of the all of the wash cloths that go in the gift packs, and she packages soap, and she helps do a lot of different things. Um, you know, and her daughter, you know, with making soap and 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 uh, teaching classes and. You know, I mean, her granddaughter even helps. I mean, it is all a family owned and they love each other and they take care of each other and encourage each other just the way it should be. And, um, you know, they're wonderful and their stuff is worth, their stuff is, is worth the price. So, you know, you can either buy your very bottom of the barrel, cheapest soap you can get you know, like at Walmart or whatever, or you can buy some really quality stuff that's going to last. I there, I absolutely love, well, I don't know. I We love so much of their stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brad even loves, they have hand sanitizer, which yep. is in a spray, which is so nice. And um, they have a eucalyptus, um, it's like a body cream or hand cream. I use that on my legs all the time. It's so healing. Um, you know, they have all different kinds of scents. But three of the, and I know she said there's four, uh, but three of them is, this one is called Apple Cider. And this is just samples that she sent me. That your bar would be bigger. And they smell so good. What a beautiful fall. Fall is my very favorite season anyway but what a beautiful scent fall gets me so excited because of the the scents and the sounds and the visual and it's just like all of the leaves turning and the crunch of the leaves and the crispness of the air and then your sense of the pumpkin and you know the leaves turning and you get that smell of the earthiness of the leaves and um if you happen to live in a place where you get to watch the leaves turn colors, oh, such a beautiful thing. Now, I really greatly enjoy all the seasons. Um, spring is probably my second favorite because I never really lived in an area where there was a true spring until here. But, um, so, yeah. So, if you're a big fan of fall, you're going to love this. This is, this one is sweet. Sweet pumpkin. And so there's that. Mm. See, I love to just even have these. She, she'll send samples every so often or sometimes full bars. And I love to just even have them in my bathroom open just because you walk in the bathroom and it just smells so good. It does. It does. And then this one is Autumn Harvest, which is a wonderful. I can smell clove, almost like patchouli. Is it patchouli or patchouli? Patchouli. patchouli. Um, nutmeg, some, maybe some cinnamon. I don't know, some good earthiness, some fall leaf smell. I mean, it just, it's a beautiful scent. So those are the three new ones, and I know there's another one, and this is Stone City Farm. So, um, you know, check them out. Check them out on Amazon, or you can just type that name in on a search, and they'll, it'll bring up their website. And like I said, give them a try because they are very worth the money. And I am a, one of their biggest fans. I will admit it. You know, I met my friend Kathy. I didn't know anything about their soap business or anything. Um, she and I became friends. Uh, because she was a subscriber to this YouTube channel and because I knit hats and donate them. And so she wanted to knit hats and donate them too. And so she would send me hats and we just formed a really great friendship through that. And, you know, she's been almost kind of a mentor for me because she's had her own health challenges and she's risen above and fought hard and is overcoming and that gives me hope and 
perseverance to keep pushing myself. And, you know, I look at all that she has done and all that she has been through, and I'm like, you know, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, we think, what would Kathy say? You know, when, I, when I'm having a day where I just want to feel sorry for myself, I'm like, you know what she'd say. <laughs> get up off your keister, get going on stuff, you know, get your stuff done, and then treat yourself to something nice, you know. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that kind of stuff. Um, I just finished another painting, uh, but it's one I kept because they, they kind of go together. Um, actually, they're hanging above my bed now. And then I'm going to start kind of a series, I think, of um, waterfalls. I'm really drawn toward water always. I love to paint water so much. It's just kind of, you can ca capture kind of that movement within the piece of, like, the movement of water within that stillness of the wave. Because it still is moving. It's just you don't, I mean, it's like, it's almost like it's encapsulated and it's still moving within that. And so I, I love to get the movement of water which is not an easy, easy thing to do painting. And anybody will tell you that. Um, but I'm very, very drawn to it. I want to do a bunch of series with water, waterfalls <coughs> in all different mannerisms. Some will be abstract. Some will be more realistic. Um, thankfully, we got the printer hooked up. So I like to go through and I'll print up 10 to 20 pictures and kind of spread them all out. And I'll take a little piece of this, a little piece of that, a little piece that's in here. And I just kind of, it all just kind of form this map back in here. And then I got to try and get it out of here onto the canvas, which can be a real challenge. And then sometimes even when I think I'm on a direct road with a canvas and a painting, <coughs> my painting will speak and say, no, we're going down this road. You can either follow us or else you can just stay there and cry. So I'll just follow the painting. Don't even ask. Just feel sorry for Brad because that's how my mind works. Yeah. I've gotten used to it. I know. Let me see. Okay. This is the painting I just finished. You know, it's similar to the, the white one with more colors. You don't see the shimmer and stuff on it, but I have them hanging side by side. They're both the same size. So, very, very cool. Um, yeah. So, been doing that. Um, still making hats. I'm going to finish Grandma today, my diamond painting, <laughs> or get, get her closer because next week I want to do some painting. I'm going to still do some hats. I'm probably not going to start a new diamond painting, though, because I'd like to do some sewing. There's some uh, lace jacket type deals I would like to make myself. Um, and, yeah, so I want to get some sewing done. Um, I need to do some sewing. I just very, you know, you get kind of that calling of, you know, you need to do something. It's like, I need to do some sewing. Um, you know, because I am built a little differently. Than, than the standard measurements, and I have larger arms, so I usually have to take the sleeves off of most things and put new sleeves on that are more accommodating, or else I will end up um, cutting the sleeves off. You know, it depends on how, how that piece is made, but then I want to have like a lace jacket with some arms that are comfortable because I just feel more comfortable that way. I feel prettier that way. And, you know, if I'm uncomfortable and I go someplace, I won't have a good time. It's just like I don't know how people ever wear shoes that are uncomfortable. Because if I wear a pair of shoes and I'm out somewhere, I will not have a good time. Because my feet hurt. Mm. Sister is not happy. And I don't like it if my feet hurt. I don't own a pair of high heels any longer because I have enough trouble walking without putting myself on on you know small cylinders and trying to walk you know so 
right? Yeah. So, anyway, um, we're just going to kind of hang out. I've been super tired lately. I don't know why. Well, because I'm not sleeping. Yeah. I have a lot of stuff on my mind, and I'm not sleeping, and sometimes I will get up at 7 or 8, and I'm still awake. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. But it is what it is. So, um, Jelly Bean's doing great. She sure is a pistol. She loves both of us a lot. She usually glued to me, though. Yep. Um, we took her just a little bit ago, and she was scared, and I felt bad. I think she thought we were going to get rid of her. So we were, and and she, she was crying, and she was shaking. But she'll get used to it that that we're not getting rid of her or anything. But uh, yeah, the other two dogs are doing great. Charlie's down here sleeping. Nixie's over by her dad sleeping. Cat doing fine. Shady is always shady, shady. So and Brad's doing doing well. You know, got a little bit of the allergy cold thing going on. I don't know which it is. Usually every fall, especially when we lived in Wyoming, he would get a massive. Massive bout of bronchitis every fall. I could count. I could do it like clockwork that when he came home from hunting, he was going to be sick. So, you know, so we're, we're just kind of waiting to see what he's going to do with that, mm-hmm. you know. So, anyway, I just thought I would say hi and show you guys that stuff. And I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And I love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.